Welcome to my quest guide on New Foundations. As for the requirements, there are none, although if you are a level 3 skiller, you will need any form of the Blood Necklace amulet. That way you can kill the NPCs passively. And then again, if you are a low level, you may need food if you're just trying to tank all those hits. Now for the required items, you will actually need 20 planks, which we can just buy from the NPC nearby. You'll want 88 stone wall segments, which you can buy, although I spent 44k per each one, so it's pretty expensive. If not, you will need to just buy limestone bricks. And also there's an NPC nearby for that, so if you're a little low on money, you can do that option, and you will need 8 wooden frames. For some other useful items, you'll need a Wicked Hood, a Skull Scepter, and an Amulet of Glory. Make your way to the Varrock Castle, and we'll be heading north. And just so you know, this quest is going to be extremely long, because it's pretty much an AFK quest. So, start the quest by the barrier, and as you approach the throne room, you hear voices. Hit option 1 for yes to listen. Is there a way that you will reconsider? It's like, sorry my lord, not worth the risk, that place. Here we go. It's cursed. We're wasting time and gold on these cowards, that's the queen. Cowards? Wait a moment now. She's like, silence, one more word and you'll be picking your teeth up off the ground. We talked about this, Ella. She has anger issues. This is useless. We should just send an army and then she'll lead them herself if she has to. We can't send troops away from the cities. You know that. And then she just gets a little mad and stuff at him. After that, enter the door. And you want to speak to King Royal. And am I interrupting something? And the Queen says, That depends. Are you a rank Craven like someone else we've seen today? Like, not helpful, my dear. I venture, I have a task for someone willing to take on a great burden, but with the opportunity to reap greater rewards. Would you like to hear more? And now, Accept the quest. The looms over the three Saradominus kingdoms. They have suffered After that nice cutscene that we did get. And I think there's a little spoiler behind that. Because remember way back in the day. When we had that. I guess game event for Twitch. And stuff. Where they had the Halloween event with waves of zombies. Maybe we're getting that. As like much later in the year or something. Or maybe even through the necromancy skill that. The new building requires pretty much max buildings and you'll get additional bonuses and buffs. But anyway, claim the veil, establish a fort there, and join the ranks of the Mistelin nobility. And you're like, on my own? It's like, well, you're the first person I've dispatched. That last group had an architect with them. Perhaps he survived. If not, you can always recruit your own staff. A noble is responsible 
and maintaining their own household after all. Hit option three. Oh wait, no. Hit option two, sign me up. Splendid. East of Varrock is the King's Road. Follow it north to the wilderness and you will find the veil. After that, click on your wicked hood, click on teleport, and click the earth rune. This will teleport you outside the earth altar. If not, you'll actually want to make your way where I'm at pretty much. And you can also do this if you do have 20 archaeology with the archaeology journal. But anyway, once we're here, run north. Click on the little portal and keep in mind this is where it's combat so if you're a little low level and a skiller make sure to have that blood fury necklace on hit option one and again, since i'll pretend to be level three skiller what you want to do is run all the way up and they should all aggro you oh and i guess you get some new music Now that they're on you, you kind of want to have as much of them as possible on you because it, the Blood Fury, like that, it just procs. So you just want to wait a little while. It procs every 15 seconds. So of course, since I do have armor, I'll be taking a little less damage than what level 3 skiller does have. But it is potentially an option. And remember, the Blood Fury Necklace won't actually proc until you start getting hit, just like that. So just take off your armor, and then I'll wait one more proc, and then I'll just kill them as normal. It's just this is a viable method for level 3 skillers to gain access to this place. And then once these zombies hit me, any minute... Hmm, okay, well, I guess time to attack him like crazy. There we go. Now, sometimes there could be a zombie trapped north. In which case, you just want to wander around because there's only one yellow dot that is useful. Once you have killed all the zombies, speak to Bill. You say thank you. You've got a bit of zombie juice all over your face. You say thanks. Are you the architect? The name is Bill, and you must be Ronald's latest hired muscle with delusions of grandeur. Are you always this candid? Only... When I've been left for dead by jobs worth thugs. Puts me in the right mood. You're like, I suppose that's kind of fair. Look, friend, I appreciate the save, but you've wasted a trip. Nothing here but mud, the walking dead, and a bunch of ruins. Hang on, I've come here to claim the duchy as my own, and that's what I'm going to do. Then you'll do it without me, good guthics. I'm too old for this. Going through the muck... The pursuing endeavors and all that stuff. And he said, I don't believe what I'm hearing. The people of Miss Lynn are in danger. Someone has to protect them. And that person is me. He said, wait up. The King Ronald sent me here to establish a fort. And by the gods, I'm going to do it. Are you with me? Are you with me, Bill? And then for those that don't know, Bill is actually the sawmill's name. Although I kind of wish it was like Bob, as you will soon see later. And he, he'll join you. He's like, I'm in. He's like, where do we even start? Because it's just a pile of rubble. He's like, well, it's just you and me. There's too much work. And he was like, okay. Well, since he's an architect, what do we need to build first? First, we need wood and stone. And a workshop to make the planks and blocks. Perfect. 
We'll start there. I'm going to set up a suitable location, which is just southwest of us. And then we'll speak to him once we're ready. And now we go southwest. What's that? You can actually trade him, and he will have 20 planks that is required. And he does have limestone bricks, so if you are an Iron Man, you could buy these because you're going to need 382. In which case, you just do that, and don't worry, the bank is nearby, so it's extremely easy to do so. But anyway, now that we're here, actually, let me bank all of these. And we'll be getting six. Now that we're here, speak to Bill. So how do we build a workshop? He's like, I brought my old sawmill from cutting logs into planks. There's a bench for assembling the frames and contraption for cutting the stone. You'll need frames to make anything else. You can make them out of planks. Check the blueprints on the table to find out how many you need. Once you have everything you can begin with, from there as well. And he's like, what if I need wood and stone? He's like, eh, we'll have a source that ourselves, unless we come here daily to buy it. Although there is trees south of us, and a quarry to the east. Now that we're here, you'll need the eight wooden frames and six stone wall segments. This is for the workshop tier one. Once that is done, you'll see little construction hotspots, and only one of them will be glowing. This is pretty much like archaeology, how it's increased building rate, although like, it's pretty useless to do it, but it's an option. Now, if you don't have those, we want to trade him, and we'll buy 10 logs and 10 limestone bricks, and I'll show you what that means. So you want to angle your camera, look south a little bit. With your limestone bricks, you want to cut the stone at the stone cutter. For here, it requires four bricks to make one stone wall segment, in which case we did need six. So that does require 24 limestone bricks. Now for the logs, you want to process the logs at the sawmill. Wait a little bit, and then to the east of us, there is an option to construct the frames. Construct the frames, go to wooden, and you'll need three refined planks to get the planks. Process the logs again, and it will take four logs for each, well, four planks for each refined plank. And remember, since we need three, you need a total of 96 logs. Just go back and forth and then make it as it takes a while. Although, if you're main account, you can just buy it from the Grand Exchange. But anyway, now you want to build the optimal one and pay attention to it when it changes because this is going to take four minutes to do. And I highly suggest you to pay attention as soon as it changes. You want to click off. And you can skip the video of like four minutes from now. Because I don't really want to skip this because there is some good methods from here. So you'll notice while you're actually doing the optimal construction method, you get a little bar on your screen. For every 1%, Let me see. So basically you want to maintain 100%, but it's not mandatory. It's just there is an achievement for maintaining 100%, which is the perfect build. As soon as it changes, you want to click away and then find the next optimal one. It should change about every minute, which is perfect. 
And then, the well, I don't want to say the higher you maintain it, but if you do maintain it at 100%, you will get a little bit extra experience, although this is not viable at all because there's better construction methods. This is just like an AFK portion of the quest. And then right there, you see how I messed up? And I have 99%. That's because I did not click away from it fast enough. This means that I failed the perfect build. I need to get maintain 100% the whole four minutes of the build. And if you do mess up, I mean, you just gotta wait again until you build something else. Now that I change, boop. three-fourths done just a little bit more ago and since it changed I should be liable to just AFK the rest of it and my chat and screen is looking a little bit funny so I'll just clear it so it's less clutter done and of course it changed great 96% now well I failed this achievement task oh well don't worry throughout the quest you do have other chances to do it and after the quest you can destroy your building and fix it and hopefully to get the 100% build now that we finally built it we want to speak to him and He'll pretty much say it's fortified, just not good enough because it's like the basic tier. And now, walls. That's it. We need walls, builders, and people to help run the place. And he's like, hmm, like a steward, do you have any suggestions? And then he says, Uster, Danter, last I heard, there were odd jobbing over in Verak doing accounting for the blue moons in landlord. Like, I'll ask Esther to teleport to the Varrock Lodestone. After that, you want to make your way north and pretty much outside of the Lodestone. I mean outside of the pub. Talk to them. Yes, and you are. It's a good time Bill sent me. She's like, alas, I was presently engaged. And there will be for Bill. You mean Sawmill Bill? He's like, Bill the architect. We're building a fort. Yes, that's Bill. Long ago, he used to run a sawmill. And a little fun fact, he ran the sawmill and a woodcutting method. You pretty much had to cut and make frames and stuff, although that was never a viable method. But it was actually pretty interesting too, because you could get special logs, which did make one inventory of teak, well, of planks converting, kind of free-ish. I'm creating a new duchy in the wilderness to defend Mistelan, and we will need a steward to run the fort. Once we have built it, of course ambitious and shall we say forward thinking given the absence of such a structure so far consider my interest intrigued but it would be good to see bill 
again. It's like, Bill, Bill. Great. When can you start? I have some work to do for the Blue Moon's priority first. Then I should look for more people in the meantime. In your professional opinion, what are some key roles we need to fill? Well, first, I would recruit somebody to oversee the communications and logistics and overseer. Wouldn't that be your job? As steward, I would manage everything that occurs within the keep. The overseer manages everything that happens outside. Sourcing resources, managing the remote business interests for you, and that sort of thing. Sounds important. Was there someone you had in mind? Look for a Fremnik woman named Siv. I hear she is currently in Barbarian Village on business. It's gun or, gun or something. Her family are known as the Fremnik Isles for their acumen and resourcefulness. She's just a sort of rise to a challenge like this because we need a ton of resources. Right, I'll speak to Siv in Barbarian Village. And then she'll join you as soon as possible. So, with our school scepter, teleport, hit option one to hit outside. If not, you can actually run east or teleport to Edgeville and run south. Now that we're here, we gotta find Civ, which the school scepter teleport actually brings us right on the NPC. Overseer Civ. It's just Siv, not overseeing much at the moment. Oh, where did you come back here to? To set up a trade route between Fremic Province and Barbarian Village. The hope was that our long estranged cousins would have secured access to the pin of plentiful local produce. Which, I mean, there's like nothing really, it's just fish. Turns out they've spent the last generations mooning over past and writing sentimental poetry. Like so, that means your service will be soon. She's like, who are you anyway? He's like, eh, Esther Dunnett recommended me. He's like, Esther, that's a name I haven't heard in years. What do you need me to do? Run logistics for my fort. Where is this fort? In the wilderness, just north of Mistelen. Well, that does sound like a challenge. But I've been along that border many times and there's no such fort there. Well, there will be. Once I've built it. When you've... You must be crazy. Is that good laughing? Sorry, sorry. It's just been a while since I've heard something so... Crazy, yet generally fascinating. She's like, thanks. She's like, I like you, kid. I'm in a pack cup. I mean, you have to for as soon as I can. Right. I have people for construction, administration, and logistics. That covers everything. Now we just need to morale will be important. So we will need to get a priest. No, any good priest? Good priest? No. Priest? I don't think so. Father Flint, which is also another... Reference to like a stone, like it's a flint stone. He's a soldier that turned into the cloth. He's in Draenor Village, last I heard. He's in charge. Well, he's a character. He preaches in the market. So now we want to go to the Draenor Marketplace. With your amulet of glory, rub it. Hit option three and go to the Draenor Village. Once we're here, speak to Father Flint. Now for this NPC, he's going to say a lot of preaching pretty much and that he wants to like banish spirits, zombies, ghouls, demons and stuff. And he's like, do you have such a place for me? He's like, well, my fort is by the wilderness. There is a lot of revenants, spirits, ghosts and stuff. And he's, he's like, Really? You don't say? He's like, hmm. Well, okay then. He'll pretty much join you because he's like, hmm, that's a new place that I can start going off to. Once that is done, teleport back. 
to the Earth Archer, and we'll be speaking to Bill. Make your way north. Go to Bill and we shall speak to him. Did you find anyone to help? Yes, I've recruited a steward, an overseer, and a priest. They're making their way here right now. In the meantime, we better get building the walls. Good plan. You can plan out walls the same way you planned the workshop. We need to build each segment as well, so it looks like we're making some progress. And then check the blueprint table for the materials you need to start building. So, just click soft and here are the walls. And then keep an eye on what it does say. For this, you're going to need a ton of materials and planks and stuff. Like, you will need actual planks. Some of them is just like the stonewall fragments, as you will see. So, you can right-click trade them. Buy the planks, and let me get some stone wall segments. Hopefully, I have enough. Mm, should be fine. Now, the goal is you actually want to build absolutely everything. So, in my case, I'll be doing the rear gate, and pay attention to what it's actually labeled because you want to go to that spot and build the little construction platforms. Now, if you are going for, let me see, where's the achievements? Exploration for, if you are going for the perfect build, it's best to do this at the front or the rear gate as it only has two possible options like hotspots and then you want to click instantly away so that you can maintain your 100%. This is probably a painful achievement to complete because if you mess up, I mean, you gotta finish off the other four minutes and then you just have to pay attention again. And there's no way of speeding this up. The architect, I think measure the crystal hammer, the crystal saw, the armadillion token, does not help building the rates. So it just takes four minutes regardless to build them all. And I mean, that's about it. You want to build each segment, go back to build, get the blueprint from the table, go to that Pacific corner, and then you'll be able to build that wall. And then that's pretty much the whole quest. Doing this part will take you 48 minutes afterwards because there's 12 pieces and you take four minutes a pop to each to do, which I'm not going to make a little guide on that. But in the background, I don't know if you can see it too good. I'll make it a little bit clearer. Let me see. Basically, once you have built all of the walls and stuff, let me see. Okay, so here we go. So, once you have built all the walls, you want to speak to Bill again, and you will get the quest complete. In which case, it's kind of good, as you'll get one quest point, you'll get access to the fort, and its facilities, along with two treasure hunter keys. Now, after the quest and everything has been built, you want to go back to the workbench and then go to the tab, not the wall segment, but there will be a little window opening that you can change it. And then you want to build the lodestone that does require 10 limestone bricks to complete. And then you'll have access to that 
Lodestone to Fort Foundry's area. With that, thank you all so much for watching this guide on how to fully complete the new foundations quest. And enjoy AFK for the next 48 minutes as you're making the walls for the city. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment as it really does help.